Driver safety induction for newsprint, pulp freighters and clay deliveries using the OG Gate South. Welcome to the Norske Skug Tasman and OG Fibre Solutions mill site. Please note that this video is only relevant for this specific delivery group and for any other delivery group, the specified video for that particular group must also be viewed. The mill site has a set of rules put in place to provide a safe working environment with consideration given to its obligations to meet the Health, Safety and Employment Act with the aim to ensure your safety and the safety of others while working on the mill site. All employees, contractors and visitors to the site need to comply with these rules at all times. Any breach of the rules may result in disciplinary action and ultimately a ban from the site. Your safety and the safety of others are a priority for both Norska Skug and OG. Please wear all requested PPE and follow all safety rules. This induction video provides information about the health and safety and other rules for our sites. It is approximately 20 minutes long. Please answer the questions on the questionnaire whilst watching the video. There will be time for questions after the video. Once completed, please sign the questionnaire and hand it to the person inducting you. We will keep this record to confirm that you've been inducted into our site and are familiar with its rules. Induction cards and personal access cards. After your induction, you'll be issued with two cards. One, a yellow induction card that contains important information and emergency phone numbers and is proof of your induction. Keep this card with you at all times when on site. Two, a personal access card with photo ID that allows access to NST and OG sites. These cards are allocated to you only, no sharing, and will allow you and your vehicle entry and exit through designated gates. Both cards have an expiry date, which will be printed on the yellow card. Your access card will not operate the gates after that expiry date has passed. Check the expiry date on your cards and arrange an appointment for your re-induction before those dates to avoid any inconvenience. Drug and Alcohol Policy The Norske Skug Drug and Alcohol Policy applies to all contractors working on its site. Before commencing work on the Norska Skoog site, you need to undergo and pass a D&A test ASNZ and provide certificate of proof. A recent D&A test and certificate that meets the Norska Skoog requirements issued no more than six months prior to taking up work on the Norska Skoog site will be accepted. D&A certificates are current for two years from the date of issue. The D&A expiry date will be added to your access card. Your card will be deactivated after the D&A expiry date. Please provide the Norska Skug Administrator with an updated D&A certificate to stop your card from being deactivated or to reactivate your card. Contact Norska Skug Reception 07 323 with any questions and Reception or Emergency Response and Security Department on 07 3456 to arrange reactivation of your access card using your entry card to operate gate. The chip in your access card contains information and codes to operate the gate. To operate the gate, hold your card to the electronic reader pad for approximately five seconds or until the beep sound. The gate will open when the reader pad has accessed and check the information. Potential problems and solutions. Gate will not open. Not holding access card at reader pad long enough. Incorrect card. Your induction has expired. You do not have access rights to that particular gate. Faulty or broken card. Faulty reader pad. Action. Phone 07 3456 the ERS department, if you have any problems with the gates. This phone number is printed on your yellow induction card. All access points to the site are electronically monitored by CCTV cameras. Entry and exit using the access card are recorded on a database. Do not misuse your access card. Cards are issued for one person only. Do not share your card with other drivers. Do not enter the site tailgating another vehicle or passing through a gate without using the access card. Any misuse of access cards may result in the card being voided and access to the site being denied. Your company will be charged the cost of replacement for lost access cards. 
any damage caused to gates, barrier arms by neglect may be charged to your company to cover cost of repairs needed. Routes, destinations. All trucks using the Weybridge area that need to enter the mill site will use the log yard entry and exit gate. Care must be taken when driving in this area. Turning and exiting trucks are present throughout the day, so drive slowly through this area and allow yourself time to stop if needed. On site, proceed directly to your destination and return via the same route. This minimises the risk of becoming a hazard. If you are unsure of your destination or where to deliver your goods, ask at the Weybridge for directions or contact ERS Department on 07 323 3456. On site road rules. Maximum speed is 20 km per hour in most areas. The maximum of 20 km per hour may be reduced. Please adhere to these requests. Obey all road signage. Stop at all stop signs. Give way at give way signs. No passengers in vehicle. Trains always have the right of way. Stop at all rail crossings and check it is clear before proceeding. Watch for other road users. Note Norshka Skoog is an absolutely smoke-free site. Smoking on OG is restricted to designated areas only. Site entry and truck routes. All newsprint, pulp, freighters and clay delivery trucks use the OG gate located at the south end of the mill site. This plan indicates the approximate routes to the respective areas. Red, Norskishkug Newsprint. Green, Norskishkug Play. Yellow, OG Pulp. Newsprint freighters proceed to the Norskishkug Newsprint Warehouse. Truck drivers need to be fully visible at all times and wear the appropriate PPE. Curtain-sided trucks drive under the loading bay between the yellow lines. You must stay clear of the forklift when loading is taking place. Pulp freighters take extra care of rail movements when proceeding to and from your loading area. The loader operator will inform you of the safest loading position when you arrive. Clay deliveries follow the direct route to the clay filler shed area and make contact with the forklift operator who will direct you to the desired unloading area. All care must be taken on site when driving to and from your destination. Trains always have priority of movement on site and all traffic must stop before proceeding across rail crossings. Some crossings are controlled by flashing lights and bells. Others only have road markings instructing vehicles to stop. Ensure the way is clear before proceeding. Heavy machinery is operating around the clock. Log stackers and loaders in and around the log yards and bulldozers working on the chip and hog piles. Consider too all other operational vehicles and pedestrians. OG and Norskishkug have many employees and contractors working 24 hours, 7 days a week, so always be aware and drive carefully. Safety on site. Personal protective equipment, PPE. Always wear the site standard PPE, high vis jacket, clothing, day night standard, hard hat, safety glasses, safety footwear. Hazards. This site has many hazards. It provides clear signage throughout. Be cautious at all times and follow the requirements specific to individual plants areas. Confirm any site-specific procedures at reception before entering the site. Hazards on site include toxic chemicals and gases, high voltage power cables, overhead lines, heat processing areas, steam chemical pipes, vehicular traffic and pedestrian traffic. Trains, site plant maintenance, environment, conditions, sun, rain, wind, dust, noise. To stay safe, always 
wear the requested PPE. Keep out of areas that are restricted to operators only. Take note of gates, fences, barriers and signage and road markings. Ask your Norska Skoog or OG contact for clarification if you are unsure of what PPE to wear, where to go, what the site-specific procedures are. Hazard and injury reporting. Use the following phone numbers. They are printed on your yellow induction card. Emergency only, 07 323 3033. Non-emergency, 07 323 3456. Report any hazards or potential hazards to a site operator in your area to the 24-hour ERS department on 07 323 3456. The hazard can then be checked out and the appropriate action taken. Report any injuries sustained whilst on site to the Norskishkoog Occupational Health Centre 24 hours located at Norskishkoog Tasman Reception. First aid treatment will be given. Emergency response. Emergencies, fire, spillage, first aid and other incidents. For any emergency situation on site, call our emergency response team on 07 323 3033 or the internal landline 8000. The team are equipped and trained in firefighting and pre-hospital emergency care. We'll respond immediately to all calls on site to assess the situation. We'll relay any messages for further emergency assistance as required. The site has its own ambulance and fire appliance, which are able to respond within minutes to any incidents on site. Remember, it is better to make a false alarm call with good intent than to not make a call. On-site emergencies, including mill-wide evacuations. Emergencies can happen at any time, categorised in this video into two types, minor or local plant area emergency, major mill-wide emergency. Minor local plant area emergencies. Any local plant area emergency is just confined to that area. There will be a local alarm sounding and red flashing beacons warning those within the vicinity to stay clear, evacuate the immediate area and or do not enter or re-enter until the all clear is given by the area operator. If unsure, always check by contacting the operator control room via phone before entering. These areas on site include chlorine plant, lime kiln, recovery boiler, continuous pulping group CD, pulp mill, bleach plant. Other alarms on site may be local area fire evacuation alarms. The same rule applies. Evacuate to a safe area or assembly point outside the immediate area sounding the alarm. Always consider wind direction and attempt to always move upwind of any smoke, gases or vapours. If you are working in an area downwind of a gas leak, never attempt to walk or drive through a gas cloud. Move outwards and away then attempt to get upwind of the gas cloud. If this is not possible, keep moving away from the gas cloud. Other alarms on site include warning alarms, overhead cranes operating, lifting in hatchways, plant startups. All these alarms are warnings for everyone to stay clear and be aware of the situation. Major mill-wide emergency and alarm. This alarm is a loud rise and fall sounding siren to alert everyone on the mill site and surrounding areas of an uncontrolled or imminent emergency. This alarm will sound until it is deemed that everyone on site is aware and responding to an emergency station. Red warning lights are located along the main highway, Tamarangi Drive, north of the overhead bridge and south of the mill site. Lights are also located on the overhead bridge entrance to warn traffic entering the mill to stop and proceed no further. During a mill-wide alarm, these lights will be activated. The emergency could be a major gas leak, fire, earthquake or other incident. But whatever the reason, it is important to have a plan of action. Should such an eventuality take place while you're on site, we ask you to follow a few basic procedures. For your safety if on site, park up your vehicle and apply the park brake and turn off the engine. Make your way to the nearest mill emergency station. 
These stations are signposted and located throughout the mill. Familiarise yourself with the station nearest to where you are working or visiting. Turn on the emergency broadcast receiver, green box, at the station. Adjust the volume and listen to the broadcast. Green box number 34. Calling green box number 34. Make a list of all persons gathered at the station. Follow any instruction messages transmitted to your specific station number. Each station has a number. Emergency box 34. Could you please evacuate with your green box and register. Please stay together and move to assembly point A. If asked to evacuate the station to a specific assembly point, take the emergency broadcast receiver with you. It lifts off the wall. Take the list of names collected. Keep listening to the receiver green box for further instructions. An all clear message will be broadcast and the all clear alarm will be sounded once the emergency is over or under control. This alarm is a long 20 second continuous siren blast repeated six times. Assembly points. There are four main assembly points on the mill site. These are located one, west of the mill site in the Norskishgoog main car park, two, south of the mill site by the Norskishgoog main store, three, southeast of the pulp mill by the fence line boundary, four, north of the mill site by the Waybridge overhead bridge. These assembly points are used in the event of any major incident on site where controlled evacuations may be required. However, remember in the first instance and for your safety, always report to a mill emergency station and remain there listening for any broadcast information instruction. The assembly points all have equipment boxes attached and secured by a coded padlock. This code will be given via your radio receiver, so keep listening. Inside the box, there is a first aid pack for any injuries and a radio transmitter, which you will be instructed to turn on. Keep listening as you may be requested to transmit a message back to the Mill Emergency Control Centre to confirm testing, your arrival at the one, assembly two, point. Three. Do this testing, by pressing testing, the operating one, two, button on the transmitter radio and speak slowly and clearly. An all clear message will be broadcast and the all clear alarm will be sounded once the emergency is over or deemed under control. Mill wide emergency alarm testing. First Monday of every month at 0900 hours. We ask everyone on site to participate by responding to the nearest mill emergency station and listening to the broadcast message over the radio receiver. The tests include sounding of the mill-wide alarm six times, rise and fall cycles, the broadcasting system to all mill emergency stations, green boxes, all entry gates and turnstiles will be locked during this time. Sounding of the all clear alarm. Test completed. Two 20 second continuous blasts. Any problems, faults, report to the ERS department 07 323 3456. We value people and their personal safety. Take the time to be safe.